Oi, pessoal. Aqui é a Alexia. Bom, antes de começar, eu queria falar umas coisinhas aqui com vocês. Nós estamos preparando coisas muito bacanas para 2020. Então, a cada mês, nós teremos um challenge diferente, ou seja, um desafio. Pelos 12 meses do ano que vem, nós vamos ter desafios sobre temas específicos que vão te ajudar a melhorar o seu inglês. Por exemplo, nós vamos ter challenges sobre phrasal verbs, sobre prepositions e como aprender gramática sem precisar usar livros didáticos. Vai ser muito legal, a gente está super animado com isso e queremos muito, muito, muito que você participe. Então, se você é sério com o seu inglês, você deve participar dos challenges. Para saber mais sobre esse e muitos outros assuntos, vá lá no inglesnecru.com. Ok, now on with the show. Oi, gente! Para quem quer aproveitar os 40% de desconto em qualquer plano anual do Cambly, com a primeira aula grátis, é só ir aqui na descrição do nosso episódio e clicar no link ou direto em cambly.com ou no aplicativo do Cambly e colocar o código inglês fourth, que é 4 th of July. Não se preocupa porque eu vou deixar tudo escrito direitinho aqui na descrição do episódio, então... Você pode acessar direto ou botar no Cambly.com, no aplicativo do Cambly e conseguir esse descontão, essa super promoção que é válida entre o dia 1 de julho a 8 de julho de 2020, tá? Isso tudo para comemorar os setores americanos no 4th of July, que é uma data super importante para os Estados Unidos. Ainda mais nessa época de pandemia, todo mundo em casa, quem pode ficar em casa, claro e quer ter uma motivação, quer melhorar o inglês, quer melhorar é, a cabeça, ter com o que se ocupar, o Cambly tá aí, dando essa ajuda, essa super promoção, que eu acho que é válida para todos nós, tá bom? Então, é isso, hein? Vai lá no Cambly.com, no aplicativo do Cambly, coloca o inglês 4th of July, ou clica direto no link que eu vou deixar aqui na descrição. Now, on with the show! Do you want to kick us off today, Alexia? I can. So, welcome to another episode of English Necro Radio. Hello, everyone. This is Alexia. I am the co-host of this podcast, of course. And I'm here with your favorite American person in the world, Foster. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. How are you doing, Alexia? I'm fine. What about you? I'm doing well, doing well, can't complain. Awesome, awesome. So today we are talking about, we are continuing talking about the states, yeah. American states. Can I give you a quick, quick tip before we get started? Uh, of course. Okay, so when you say today we are continuing talking about, grammatically, that's okay, probably. But it is a little bit strange to use two gerunds. So, gerundius, ing verbs, consecutively like that. So, I would probably suggest that the most natural way to say this is we are going are still to... talking. Yeah, we are going to continue the conversation about or continue to talk about something like that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, we're talking about states in the U.S. And what state yes. are we talking about today? We are talking about one that I honestly have no idea about anything from there. That it's called Maine. Okay. Today we are talking about Maine. And first, let's start with the pronunciation. Maine. Maine. M-A-I-N-E. Maine. <laughs> 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 so this is another great example of a word that does not look like the way we pronounce it. Yeah, I mean, it's the same way that we say main, right? Just like main street or the yeah. main point of a topic or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same pronunciation, but we spell this with an E. And this is a classic example of... Most of the time when we have a letter 
or when we have a word that ends in E in English, we don't pronounce the E. The E is silent. So just main. Main. Exactly. I don't want to hear any of our students saying miney or anything like that. Okay. Okay. So, Foster, do you know anything about Maine? A little bit. What about you? No. Okay. Um, do you, I don't think so. Do you know anything? Like, um, could you maybe locate it on a map? Yes, it's really north, right? Really cold. And I think that that American guy from our co-working is from there. Yes, there was a guy from Maine at our co-working one time. Yeah, yeah. So I know that it's freezing, it's really cold, but apparently um, they have nice people there. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, I only know two people from Maine. I know that guy from our co-working. Also, my friend Hank, that I went to university with him. From You've met him before. Uh -huh. he, he's also from Maine. But you are correct that Maine is a very northern state. In fact, it is the northernmost state in the northeastern part of the U.S. So if you're imagining a map in the northeast, you have like a piece of land where you have New York and Connecticut and Massachusetts, all of those states at the uh -huh. very, very top, the very end of the United States on the northeast. That's Maine. That's Maine. Yeah. I mean, it's all almost Canada. It's almost Canada, but it's actually not connected yeah. to Canada because of water. Yeah. Yeah. So because it's so far in the north and east, a little cool fact about Maine is it's the first state in the U.S. to get the morning sun. Ah, that must be nice. Yeah. So if you're a fan of watching the sunrise... Probably, arguably, the best place to do that in the U.S. is in Maine. Yeah, but it's also the the first one to get the sunset. Um, yeah, I, I don't would know imagine what they do with their time zone stuff. But <laughs> yeah, what I've always heard about Maine is it's really, really cold. And so imagine whatever you're imagining of like an American winter, that is probably pretty accurate. But in the spring and the summer, Maine is like a very popular tourist destination. Like people go. Really? Yeah. Like my mom Why? grew up going to Maine. Um, my aunt and uncle, me and Jim go to Maine, I believe. Because they have like beautiful lakes, hiking, beautiful weather in the summer. Not too hot, not too cold. That must be good. And I, I heard that they have an amazing... Um, seafood. Yes. So Maine is very famous for lobsters. So Ooh, I don't like lobsters. Yeah. Lobsters. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Lagoista. Lagoista. Yeah. Most lobsters in the U.S. come from Maine, I believe. Yeah. And this is a thing that I, I never saw, like, why doing it, you know, like eating a lobster First of all, it's so difficult to do that, and it's not that good. It, it's it's not worth all the trouble <laughs> to eat a lobster. Yeah, that's an entirely different debate. <laughs> I agree. Lobster is not my favorite food, and it's really expensive. It has a very interesting history, but that is neither here nor there. So, Alexia, Maine is a really small state in terms of population. There's only like one, one and a half million people that live in Maine. <laughs> Nowadays, comparing to where I live, it's like, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So imagine how many people live in Sao Paulo, 20 million mm -hmm. or something. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. So Sao Paulo is like 20 Mains. <laughs> I love that phrase. So one 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 point four million people there, lobsters and what else? What else do you know about Maine? Um, I have a few interesting facts. First of all, 
the capital of Maine is Augusta, which is interesting for a couple of reasons. First, I believe almost every state has an Augusta. There's an Augusta, South Carolina, an Augusta, North Carolina, and Augusta, Georgia, and it's the capital of Maine. And this is Augusta. So we're talking about the schwa sound, o som do schwa. So most Brazilians will see this word and they want to say Augusta, like mm -hmm. Augusto, but Augusta. it's not. It's Augusta. So say it Augusta. with me. Augusta. One more time. Augusta. Augusta. Awesome. I'm going to visit Augusta this summer. Augusta. Augusta. Uh -huh. And it's not Augusta. It's not Augusta. Augusta. Yeah. So you have two schwa, the uh, uh sound. Uga, uga, Augusta. Augusta. Almost. Almost. <laughs> okay. Do you know what the biggest city in Maine is? Biggest city in Maine. No. Portland. Portland. But Port well, they have Portland everywhere, everywhere in the United States as well, right? Like in Oregon they have it. The only other Portland I know is in Portland, Oregon, which we already talked about. But there is also a Portland in Maine. Okay. Okay. It's interesting that it's another capital who is and which is the biggest which is the biggest city. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's interesting that it's another capital that it's the biggest city. Yeah. In, it is the case with most states that we have talked about so far. Most states. <laughs> What? Um, you're going to either have to <laughs> not pay attention to the dog and your dad. Or it's we're going to have to record later. <laughs> it's impossible. It's like... <laughs> okay, pause. One second. Pause. Okay. So we're pausing the podcast really quick. But just to Bye. give you guys... Oh, bye. Just to give you guys an idea of what's happening. We have a new puppy. His name is Buddy. And Alexia's dad is taking care of the puppy while we are recording podcasts. <laughs> so what this looks like for me... I'm talking with Alexia on Zoom. We're recording. And Alexia's eyes are just going everywhere. Like there is someone robbing our apartment because <laughs> you can hear the puppy and then you can hear Marco Antonio atrás dele falando, no, nobody, no. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, but I just explained to our listeners what was happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, back to Portland. Everything okay, okay? we were talking. Yeah, he was pooping <laughs> in my dad's bedroom, and then while my dad was cleaning up <laughs> everything, he escaped to be in front of my door, and then he was trying to break the door and like escape. So, okay, well, I think I'll give you one last fact about Maine, then you can go take care of our dog. <laughs> Do you, you know a very famous person from Maine? Mm, give me a hint. Mm, a TV show that you like a lot. That I like a lot? That you have seen many, many episodes of. Friends? Mm, nope. Uh, How I Met Your Mother? Mm, no. Two and a Half Men? Do you watch a lot of Two and a Half Men? No, I'm just saying a lot of like <laughs> sitcoms that I <laughs> remember. Mm, think about Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Who's from Maine? Which one of Grey's Anatomy is a Mainer? I have no idea. Who? The famous actor Patrick Dempsey, also known as McDreamy. He's a uh... Mainer him he's a mac dreamy yes yes it is indeed okay on that note <laughs> maine has mac dreamy it's got lobsters it has trees and lakes and early sunrises seems like a really cool place to check out in the summer if you are interested in visiting maine send us your thoughts if you want to hear about other states send us those thoughts and we will be back in your earphones tomorrow.
Yes. Bye, guys. Thank you. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do nosso Inglês de Necro Rádio. E eu queria falar que a cada mês nós temos um challenge novo. E onde é que você pode achar esse challenge? Vá lá no inglêsdenecro.com. Aproveita e dá uma espiada em tudo que a gente está fazendo e de produtos novos, de preços super acessíveis e até coisas grátis que temos para vocês. Claro que quando a gente pensa em algum produto, a gente pensa em todos os níveis de pessoas né, de inglês que a gente pode oferecer e alcançar. Então, se você é básico, intermediário ou avançado, pode fazer. Nós aqui abrimos as, os braços para todos, todos nós, né, porque eu me incluo nessa, e acolhemos todo mundo. Então é isso, vá lá no inglêsdenecru.com, aproveite e fique sabendo um pouquinho mais sobre a gente, tá bom? Te vejo no próximo episódio, hein? Bye!